Hey there peeps, this is Jeff aka Nomad Fury and I'm here at Edsa Shangri-La in Mandaluyong Okay, you can take a look at the lobby here This is what a 5-star hotel looks like Okay and you know a couple of nights I have stayed at Shangri-La the Fort in which I supported Miss Veronica Andrino in which uh, she was one of the speakers of the Sigma Roadshow the Malta AI and Blockchain Summit so she was discussing about the ASEAN gaming statistics and also Sunny was there as well okay and yeah because we're teammates so we need to support each other and I, she was doing well she was doing well in uh, in her speech so congratulations once again miss veronica okay so why am i here in shangri-la because uh the thing is uh, veronica and sunny uh, uh they were having a meeting with the cashback world in which they're having a successful soft launch here in the philippines in which Veronica and Sunny have organized well me of course I had a uh, I had something else to tend to like a meeting with the CTO of Merge Commit Mr. John Clark Naldosa so thank you so much sir for your time okay we had so much fun discussing about uh, blockchain everything I have so much I have a lot I mean I have so much to learn you know I've learned a lot from you uh, John and uh, thank you for your time you no, know, uh, we are having a, a, a bit of coffee and a sugar-free cheesecake. Well, um, well, thank you so much, and I'm we're, I'm looking forward to see you again next week. Okay, especially that you're going to be there in Cebu on March 30th in our Crypto Massive Adoption Road Show at the ICT Hall in Cebu Technological University. So it will be on March 30th, 2 to 6 p.m. Okay, so the thing is that um, what I'm going to talk about is the implementation of cashless payments in hotels here in the Philippines. And as of now, um, when I checked into various hostels and hotels, especially in Shangri-La the Ford, they haven't implemented uh, cashless payments yet because it uh blockchain was not yet massively adopted despite the push of crypto education here in the philippines in luzon is so strong the massive adoption i think it will take time it will take years it will take decades well it doesn't matter as long that um these cashless payments would uh, revolutionize every industry including the hotel industry so i would be looking f i would love to see these hotels especially shangri-la hotel Okay, that I will be accepting Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, and a QR code payments. You know, the common QR code payments here in the Philippines are uh, GCash, in which I have used it from time to time when I'm when I'm shopping in the mall or in the coffee shops. Okay, and also there's uh, WeChat Pay and Alipay as well okay and all the video pay yeah so so i think it's it's slowly emerging and uh i'm looking forward you know massive adoption is the key Madap i mean i mean it's the it's one it's one key get that uh bitcoin and other prices could could grow could grow higher you know and another and another factor that could make the price grow higher is Continuous education, not here, not just here in the zone, but you know, in Visayas, and also in Visayas and Mindanao, in which I, Ver I, Veronica and Sunny, uh, we will be doing Crypto Massive Roadshow, not just here in the zone, but in Visayas and Mindanao as well. So stay tuned, guys, for the uh, for the schedule. Just follow our, uh, just follow and like our Facebook fan page, the Vibe PH. Okay, you can you can check out the link below on my YouTube description. Okay, so um, about implementing uh, blockchain into hotels, I think there are a handful of projects already that I've seen, you know, some startups, like uh, they are a decentralized uh, platform for hotels, okay, 
um, I think they're doing I think they're doing well okay in which their, their idea is completely out of the box in which everything here the operations here in the hotel it's going to be running on the blockchain so I would look forward to see that coming but it may not be instant it may not be fast but it could take a lot, of, a lot of time before it could be fully implemented and other other ones out there they could possibly follow so it would be exciting for me to see these hotels um, running their system their ecosystem be running in the blockchain later on and also seeing these hotels displaying QR codes for cashless payments well because the advantage of cashless payment is that oh, hey if I if I don't have any um, fiat money left in my wallet or coins in my wallet I could use my mobile phone to pay for booking for bookings you know so the thing is that the hotel industry is growing and with a combination of uh, blockchain technology whether whether if it's ethereum or so it's because ethereum is so strong all right so I think most of the startups are, are running through Ethereum, especially um, uh, some decentralized hotel uh, startups out there, okay? So this is just my opinion about, um, I mean, about my thoughts about um, hotels running with blockchain technology, which is disruptive, and the implementation of QR codes or cashless payments in hotels, all right? So anyway guys, I thank you so much for shooting in to my video. So feel free to share this to your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button below so that you can stay updated, updated on what is going on with uh, the Cryptoverse, the latest uh, blockchain summit and conferences that I've attended, which I will be giving you guys the recaps. And also the latest crypto startups that I'm going to review. Uh, interv and interviews as well coming from various um, development team members or core team members of uh, existing and new startups in the market in the, in the crypto market okay so anyway so thank you so much my name is Jeff aka Nomad Fury and see you in my next video